two things here. Uh, Aiden's got some some good ones for us. Uh, one, I agree with this statement, and I think a lot of other people agree with this statement. My problem is is that Malik Willis, Kenny Pickett, Marcus Mariota, who we're about to talk about, um, Jameis Winston, Dwayne Haskins, any of them, none of them are going to beat any of these guys in the playoffs. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Like there is not yeah. a quarterback that the Pittsburgh could, Pittsburgh Steelers can secure this season through the draft or free agency and say this guy has potential to go win a Super Bowl. And frankly, Ben Roethlisberger didn't have potential to go win a Super Bowl because the Pittsburgh Steelers are so detri- like they're so deteriorated right now, and they need time to rebuild. I understand that that's a very hard thing to grasp for every single person included, but it's the truth. Like you can't, no matter who the Steelers bring in right now or start in 2022, the expectations seven, eight wins max. Yeah. And if they pull out anything better than that, it's, it's kind of a bad thing. Russell I think Wilson, people need to remember that. the Steelers are not one quarterback away. No, they're like, not. We, they're we not really need to understand a quarterback. that like, okay, dream scenario, if they do go get Kenny Pickett and Malik Willis, the work is not done. Like th- th- there is absolutely – maybe four or five more moves that need to be made for me to really be comfortable about the Steelers, at least contending for a Super Bowl next year. And like, it, it, it's just not going to happen. The, no, the, if the Steelers were one quarterback away, that's when you pick up the phone and you go get Russell Wilson, you go get Aaron Rodgers, you go get somebody, a, a proven veteran winner that can take your team to the next level and guarantee that you'll at least be in contention for a Super Bowl. But like you said, like all of the guys that have been named or, you know, linked, with the Steelers in the offseason so far, they are not leaving the Steelers to a Super Bowl. It, no. it, it, it's just not going to happen. To to make the Russell Wilson, Wilson argument, that doesn't change anything either because you're going to send Russell Wilson into Pittsburgh, which Russell Wilson fell off at the end of the season, whether you want to admit it or not, still has no offensive line. Somebody name me the Steelers' starting center in 2022 because right now my best guess is J.C. Hassenauer. Okay? Yeah. Name me a, the starting right tackle. I can't do that because there's not the only one under contract right now is Zach Banner. You're going to tell me that Kevin Dotson and Kendrick Green are the answer at guards. I'm not totally secure on that one either. The only wide receivers that the Steelers are rocking with right now are Chase Claypool and Deontay Johnson with Ray Ray McLeod playing slot. Betty Snell Jr. is still the backup plan to Najee Harris. There's no inside linebacker next to Devin Bush unless you expect Buddy Johnson to make the biggest jump in the whole freaking world. Terrell Edmonds is now gone with no replacement in sight. There's one cornerback. His name's Cam Sutton that's under contract. The only one under contract. There's not even others to talk about. There's one. uh, Oh, excuse me. Two. His name is Justin Lane. Thank you. Um, Uh Oh. Yeah, Tyson Alualu is still coming back. We don't know how he's going to look. Chris Wormley is still the starting defensive end because Stefan Tuit is, in my eyes, gone. Yeah, you're and you're going to tell me this team. This team is the farthest thing from ready to put anybody in a quarterback yeah. and succeed. Um, here's a good, here's a, a more reasonable expectation. Here is it a better bridge option than anybody else? <laughs> I think we already know what Marcus Mariota is, which can be either a good or a bad thing. Um, if you're only looking for a bridge quarterback, I feel like he's kind of middle of the pack just in terms of what he's going to bring to the table. Um, if you're trying to compete, I would rather get the other guy on the Raiders, Derek Carr, but like that's going to cost a whole lot of money, and the Steelers are not going to want to sink a whole lot of money at the quarterback position whenever they are just now getting to offload a whole lot of money from the quarterback position with Big Ben's contract. Um, if you're looking for a bank for your buck value, I'd rather have a guy like Mariota over Winston and a lot of the other options I've seen thrown around, including Mitch Trubisky, so sure. Um, but at, at the end of the day, man, like it, it's not going to move any needles. Um, it would be interesting to see what Mariota looks like in Matt Canada's offense because we've heard – everything about how uh you know the offense would look so much different with like a mobile quarterback you know that in in the scheme you know that might be able to open things up and i feel like at least with mariota at the helm we would be able to really find that out one way or another so um you know either mariota comes in and you know canada is able to you know exploit his legs for good or nothing changes from the offense that we saw last year and canada finally gets the boot out of here 
Yep, I agree. I think Mary. Yeah. I I agree. Mariota, all he does, which is a good. It, it would be a good test, is to say, all right, well, here you go, Matt Canada. There's your quarterback. There's your mobile quarterback. You got your mobile guy. You got your running back. You got your two tight ends. Go lead an offense. Go lead your offense to all the success that you claim you could have. I don't think that it would work. I think Matt Canada's going to prove to us very soon that he's not NFL offensive coordinator. Yeah, worthy. Did, did we tell the good people uh, what we heard from the senior bowl about Matt Canada? Mm, I don't know if we did. You could tell them. Um, I, I am by no means trying to start a smear campaign, but I mean, we heard from multiple people <laughs> down at the senior bowl uh, that from NFL people that they were legitimately shocked Matt Canada went back. Oh like they, yeah, they were they were surprised that Matt Canada has a job right now. Yeah, people seemed uh, very convinced, and even like you heard things like like the Steelers are extremely unhappy with Matt Canada. Like it wasn't just like it, like analysts were like, I can't believe that they gave him a job. It was like from everything we've heard, everyone is disappointed in who this guy is as a coach. Yeah. And I think you kind of feel that from the body language that you got down at the Senior Bowl. Canada was always kind of like behind everybody else with the Steelers. And I just think that it just showed like, hey, you know, I understand that I'm on thin ice. I think that ice is going to start cracking real, real soon, which 